to the tea of the day. Today I have one called Dark Chocolate Tea by Yum Cha Teas. And uh, basically it's what it says on the tin. It's got a bunch of different chocolate bits in it. So it's got cocoa beans, white and dark chocolate bits, cocoa powder, natural chocolate, vanilla, and cream flavoring. Then it also has uh, some organic oolong and a little bit of rooibos in it. So uh, I think that's where we're going to get a lot of our flavor from. So let's see what we got here. Mr. Carr, that is your real name. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, the interesting thing about this one is uh, you really get the, the sense of the oolong. I mean, the, the, it, it definitely gives you that feeling, almost a bit of a, like a lapsang sushang, which has uh, an oolong in it as well, I think. But uh, um, it has that kind of definitely burnt uh, flavor to it, like the uh, lapsang does. And... You, you really uh, don't get a huge uh, sense of the chocolate, even though it like, has lots of bits. And I think that's because, you know, it's just getting watered down in the tea. I mean, not that this is bad per se. I mean, it's still tasty. It just feels slightly watered down when I'm drinking it. And that's not exactly what I want with, uh, when I have my tea. Obviously, it's mostly water, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I want it to taste like water. So, um... Right, what I think I would do with this one primarily is either A, add uh, some honey or milk into it, or actually just make it with a milk. So I do like a tea latte or tea mocha with this, because obviously that's going to bring the chocolate out a heck of a lot more than just doing it like this. Because well, that's the main thing it needs. It just really needs um, some extra oomph to it, because it's kind of just disappearing a little bit with the water. But... Uh, Let's take a little, talk a little bit about cocoa and cocoa powder. Um, now this actually does have a lot of benefits. Um, it's supposed to, of course, help things like reducing blood pressure. Um, it's actually supposed to help with your nitrous oxide levels. Something cool and different there. Um, it's also supposed to help lower our risk of heart attack and stroke. Um, supposed to help improve your blood flu and uh, help uh, with things like asthma, cancer, all your usual ones. Some unexpected ones for people when they think of cocoa are things like it's supposed to help with weight loss and help with skin and teeth. <laughs> and when people think of like, well, that's not the case. Well, that's because normally when we're getting our cocoa, we're getting the form of chocolate, of course, which means lots more sugar. And so we are therefore getting the negative effects of the sugar along with the cocoa. So by itself, cocoa, cocoa powder um, can help with these things. So very interesting, different um, the things that you wouldn't necessarily expect to see from a, <laughs> from a chocolate as it's, as it's concerned uh, on a normal basis. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I really don't have much else to say about this because uh, it, it is, uh, I, I think, an okay tea, but it really, I think, is best suited to be a um, milky tea, and I would really prefer doing this one as a tea latte just because when you're having chocolate as one of the main flavors, it, it needs something else. Uh, chocolate and water is always going to be less effective than chocolate and milk. They, it, at least for me. That's what, you know. Maybe you too. Uh, really? Okay, I guess that's it. Y'all have a nice tea day.